while we're recording this, we're still in the middle of the pandemic. And while none of us knows exactly what the future looks like, one thing is certain, there's going to be an end to the social isolation and it'll be safer to get together in person. But no doubt many people are looking forward to that day, especially when it comes to dating. But there's gonna to have to be some kind of transition. We're all gonna to have to discover what that transition looks like together. So let's talk about not only what's happening right now as more and more people are getting vaccinated, but also let's forecast a little bit ahead and see if we can navigate what a post pandemic world will mean for dating and sex and hookups and orgies and all of that. So Reed, Reed Mahalko, let's start with you. Uh, this is actually a topic you told us you've had on your mind a lot lately. So when it yeah. comes to dating, what do you see as being the biggest challenge as we move into a post-pandemic era? Um, well, so the, the the thing the thing I'm worried about as a as a nerd and also as a slut um, is because this was with my partner Allison Moon, who who coincidentally uh, just came out with a book called Getting It, which is about casual sex and like how to do it healthy, healthy hookups, and not like hurt people and create lots of upset. But for me as a nerd, you know, just with Allison and I over the pandemic this last year, like this is the most monogamous we've ever been ever. Um, and, and there's a part of me that's like kind of starving for seeing my other friends and lovers um, starving for just like, you know, hookups and and I know enough about myself to know that, like, I shouldn't go food shopping hungry uh, because I make worse food choices when I'm shopping. And I'm worried for other people. And this is why I want to talk about this topic is I'm worried that other people don't know how starved they are for affection and for touch and skin. Skin hunger is an actual medical term for what happens when we don't get enough affection and touch in our lives, consensual touch. And so I'm worried people are starving more now than ever. They're like chafing at the bit to get back out into the world. Um, and then what ends up gonna, what's going to end up happening is we're going to end up hooking up with all of our bad habits from hooking up before the pandemic, like turbocharged. Because I don't think a lot of people were spent the last year figuring out like, oh, like, like, why did all of these relationships go so poorly? Or, you know, how can I hook up in more healthy ways? Or like a big piece for me around casual sex is like understanding your, your imprinting triggers. Like what has you start to cascade down, you know, from a crush into like falling in love. And I'm just worried that a lot of people are going to come out of the gate and get right into a horrible relationship um, or just make some really, you know, poor casual sex choices. Like there's going to be a lot of people falling in love when they didn't want to fall in love and, and just picking the wrong people or, or picking good people that are end up being horrible fits for them. Can I add to that? I, I yeah, would say please like, do. Please do. like, yes, all of that. And, and I, I feel like people are kind of like a sponge that hasn't touched water in like years, right? That like, as soon as touch is available to them, that, um, you know, people might, it, there's been a few instances where I've hooked up with guys during the pandemic where we've kind of had this bubble or this, this um, understanding. Mm -hmm. And what I have to check myself is because I feel like that sponge, I'm like, oh, am, am I touching him for me? Am I touching him for him? Like, does he want me to touch him for me? Like, you know, there's kind of this awareness that has to happen because you're yeah. kind of just like, oh, 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 there's dick, there's dick, I, I just want this dick. <laughs> and it's like, okay, yeah, but this dick's like attached to a person and like, let me check in and take a breath. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, and I, and I think, I hate to keep playing like the gay card, but here's the gay card um, that during this pandemic, I think a lot of us kind of moved into like survival mode and our like pleasure, touch, all that, like it all kind of went on the back burner. But mm -hmm. what I think all of us probably know is that pleasure in fact is very healing and um, important to experience even in, maybe especially in a situation like this. Um, and I think, 
as gay men who have lived through, you know, pandemic in the 80s and 90s with HIV and AIDS and how to navigate your sex and pleasure and touch in a way that is safe. Um, it's something we've kind of done before. So this isn't really new to, to the gay world and kind of figuring out what that looks like. Um, we filmed for Himorose TV, my erotic website, we filmed a couple of pandemic themed um, movies to show people how to keep doing this touch, like even mm -hmm. in ways that are, are safe. Like uh, we filmed a, a scene um, in the back of a house that had these really big windows. And there was one guy on one side, on the outside, another guy on the inside. And he stuck a big old suction cup dildo to that to that window, and basically they fucked each other, but with a a window in between. Um, mm. And then and then there's all these kind of like fun ways that you can play with pleasure and still experience it. So hopefully we're not like too dehydrated, but we probably are. Well, it, it it is like like you think about like the movie image of somebody who's dying of thirst, and they get they finally get to the water, and they just like can't drink enough of it. Um, it's not like, I, I'm just worried that people aren't going to come, come back into, into socializing and just take like sips. Like we're, cause we're, we're, all, a lot of us are breaking fasts in an interesting yeah. way. And I then like say, yeah. And, and, and we're all sex people. Um, so we're thinking about like, there's another human being attached to the other side of this dick. And like, do I, you know, I find somebody, I mean, how many people do, do you know who ended up living together with somebody that they were dating off of Tinder or whatever and kind of becoming, you know, pandemic partners? Um, and now, like, we also, all those relationships or some of them are going to have to break up because they're like, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to live with you forever in the first place. So there's just like, I'm just thinking about all these different conversations that people need to have and ways to check in with yourself and with others in a way that we can kind of like, you know, kind of a harm reduction model for getting late again.